morning, friends. This is Patty Elhoff, the author of Upcycle with Decoupage, and I thought I would show you a couple of tricks, a new trick that I learned, and tell you how you can decoupage over wicker. Now, I took this trash receptacle that it's a little bit beat up, but you can do this on any wicker piece of furniture, a basket, a waste container like this, and I will show you the steps that you can take in order to decoupage over your wicker. So the first thing you would want to do is spray paint the basket. The spray paint works best, and you want to spray paint it the first coat with the basket right side up, and the second coat with the basket upside down. This way the paint will get into all of the grooves that you can't see. And just as important, you want to make sure you spray paint with a color that matches the background of your napkin. And you'll notice that this napkin has a white background. Some of them have other colors on it. But you want to make sure that that matches the paint that you're using. Now I'm taking an aqua pen. You could also use one of these fine artist's paint brushes and dipping you can dip it in water and what I'm going to do is go all around the edges of the images that I would like to tear away from this napkin with this aqua pen or with the paintbrush and I don't want any of these hard edges right here either those would stand out a little bit more when you decoupage even though the background is lighter. So any of these hard edges, I'm just going to pull these away. By the way, I keep saying aqua pen. It is an aqua brush. Sorry about that. All of these will be available on my website. The link to my website is just below this video. I have a different, whole different selection of napkins on there for you to look at and you can get anything you need uh, through my website. And it goes through Amazon, so if you've got Amazon Prime, you can get all the free shipping and you can do the rest of your Amazon shopping on my site too. And don't separate the napkin until you're all done. Make sure you set, get as many napkin pieces as you need to cover your whole surface. Just a couple of other things I want to mention. You want to use one of these wide chip brushes and this is a new extra tip that I can show you to help you when decoupaging on these type of surfaces. You want a very good napkin decoupage glue. And if you can't find this, I'll also have some on my website. I haven't been able to find the Viva Decor for you yet, decoupage glue, but I do have a very good napkin decoupage glue on my site. And you wanna make sure you have plastic wrap. So before you get started decoupaging, make sure you have those three things and here's what we'll do. Now that all of the edges of your napkin are dry, and you can put these out in the sun or in a sunny window just to make sure they all dry around the edges. Now you want to separate all of the pieces and you can just dampen your thumb and index finger and pull the pieces apart that way to separate them. And by the way, some of these I cut out and some I tore out. So you can see here, I've dampened my fingertips and I'm just pressing on the outside and then you pull the napkin apart. Now, once you get started doing this, it goes faster and faster. You just have to get the hang of it the first couple of times. And one of the things I noticed is it is much easier to separate the images that I tore out as opposed to the ones I cut out and you don't really notice a difference so it's it probably goes a lot more quickly when you tear out your images rather than cut them out. So I put my decoupage glue in a plate off to the side and I have a wider artist's paintbrush. What I'm doing is I just walked away from here to go over to the sink to wet the paintbrush and wring it out. So you want the paintbrush to be a little bit wet, damp, and you dip it into your decoupage glue and you specifically want to make sure that you are just cover the area where you're going to place your image. You don't cover the whole surface, just the area where you're going to place your image. And you may want to play around with your images first to see where you would like to put them. I'm not going with any particular pattern. You may want to go with an up and down pattern or uh, just sporadically place them all over. And apply the decoupage glue using this type of a brush. A sponge brush is going to get torn up and there 
can be a lot of uh, pilling and things like that. You don't, you don't want those clumps from the sponge brush in there. You can see this basket is pretty beat up, but since I'm just going to be using it in the laundry room for lint, it was perfect to practice on and show you how to decoupage over wicker. So you want to really load up this brush. You probably can't use too much decoupage glue. You want to load it up and then you want to place your image over the area where you just placed that. Now tap it down lightly and we're going to take a piece of saran wrap and we're going to place it over that image and we're going to pull it tightly so that we pull it out and down around that basket and that's going to press the napkin into all of those grooves and again you want to use your hand to press it down a little bit but a very cool trick that I've learned because I've been practicing with this is to take a chip brush a dry chip brush and go over this surface with the brush what happens here is the plastic is what's taking the beading, not the delicate napkin. And this brush through the plastic is pushing the napkin down very thoroughly into all of those grooves. So you would continue to do this for just a moment. You pull the plastic away, nothing sticks, and there you can see your image. And because the background color of the napkin matches the paint color, you won't see anything. And I'm now going to take my brush and very gently from the outside in, I'm going to apply the decoupage glue over that now decoupaged surface. And I'm going to go around my whole piece and just complete it this same way, following those same exact instructions. Apply the decoupage glue put your image down, put the piece of plastic over the image and tap that down and then take your dry brush and go over this again. By the way, you want to make sure that after you pull away every piece of saran wrap, you throw it away. You want a fresh piece of saran wrap each time or it will pull your image up. And I'm going to go around the whole basket and finish this this way. And once everything is dry, I'm going to take this outside. This is dry actually now. And I'm going to take this outside and spray it with a high gloss top coat. And I'm going to apply my glitter while that is still wet, while the top coat is still wet. And here I am outside and I am out of my triple thick spray on top coat which is my favorite so i'm just using a shellac here which i don't really recommend i'll have the proper top coat on my website and i will order some while i'm at it and then i'm taking the martha stewart glitter while that is still wet and i'm going to shake it all over this basket and here's a little close-up on how this looks but let me pull back a little bit and show you now I mentioned this is a little bit beat up of the basket but I did want to show it to you out in the sunlight and this went from just being something we were going to toss out to something that I actually need in the basement and that is how you decoupage over uh, any type of woven surface really this you want to make sure you use napkins I sell my own line of tissue papers but the tissue papers can't get into these grooves as well as the napkins can so my friends thank you so much for your beautiful lovely comments upcycle with decoupage is on Facebook if you go over and like and follow the page you'll be notified there every week right on Facebook when I put a new video out or a new blog post out don't forget my website link is just below this video and you can head on over there and buy all of the supplies you need through Amazon and my website and you can even get everything else that you need for your home. Subscriptions and likes are huge as are the comments so I thank you guys again for your continued support. I love hearing from you guys. I can't get back to everyone anymore. I'm so busy but you really make my day. And I hope I'm uh, helping some of you out with some of your designing solutions. And isn't it nice that instead of throwing something away or going to buy something brand new, 
I took something that really was pretty unwanted and now this will be my favorite thing in the laundry room. <laughs> so I will see you guys next week with another video or a blog post. Hope you're having a lovely summer. Take it easy, my friends. Bye-bye.